there you go. This is Brian Armstrong from EVCC Zoom. I'm talking to Dee Dee Levno down at the public market, and she's going to tell you a public market ghost story. Hi. Hi, Dee Dee. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Pretty good. Scare us. Okay. Well, it's not really scary, but um, upstairs, when the, bees, the market bees was upstairs, there was bees hanging on the wall like they are over there. Uh huh. And bees would just fly off the wall for no apparent reason. Wow. Just like in the middle of the day, nothing, nobody's around, and they just fly off. There's no way that they can fly off by themselves. Uh huh. Something pushing. Them. No, yeah, bees usually don't fly around the room right. by themselves. Right. And then there were a few times when. Unless they're magic beads. Yeah. No, <laughs> no just market beads. But market then, beads. um. Then uh, at night, before the sun would go down, Nina would leave her keys around the register or uh -huh. by her computer desk, and then they would not be there. We'd look oh, for 45 minutes for her keys everywhere. Can't find them anywhere. So then we figured, we named the, the ghost um, Charlie at that time. But his real name is Jacob. Jacob? They, they found out his name. And um, How did they find out his name? They they asked him. They, the, oh, the, in the seance? The, that. There's a ghost market um, psychic lady who uh -huh. can hear spirits and ask you know, who this person was that was not in the bees office. And very quietly he said his name was Jacob. And he was oh, like, wow. 14 years old or maybe a little bit younger.